Welcome back children. So here is the next numerical. Calculate the time period of a simple pendulum that takes 15 seconds to complete 10 oscillations. Now here I want to I want you to write the definition of time period first. Time period is defined as the time taken to complete one oscillation. Now in the question which is given to find the time period of a simple pendulum that takes 15 seconds to complete 10 oscillations. So, now 10 oscillations are completed in 15 seconds. Therefore, one oscillation is completed in 15 by 10 seconds that is equal to 1.5 second hence time period of the pendulum is 1.5 second clear so time period first of all you should write the definition here the time period is defined as the time taken to complete one oscillation then you solve so 10 oscillations are completed in 15 seconds according to the question so one oscillation is completed in 15 by 10 seconds is unitary method so you get 1.5 second as the time period of the pendulum okay children I think I left one question so I think that is question number 15 as far as I remember from the in the earlier classes whatever I have given you so please write down this question which I left which I missed actually so question of 15 this is question now no need if you have not Return question of 15, no need. At first you finish all the numerical everything and after that you continue this question. Give, a, give the suitable number to it. What does a straight line and a curved line represent in a distance time graph? So answer is, in a distance time graph, a straight line represents uniform motion within bracket or uniform speed and a curve represents non-uniform motion within bracket or non-uniform speed clear so i think this question was left out i missed it somehow so please take care you must write this down if you have written the numericals first no problem after finishing the numericals write this question definitely clear now we will do the objective questions which are there in your book now those who are having the book it won't be a problem for them but those who are not having your science book you may face a problem so i will be writing the question and the correct option as the answer okay so let's start so children, here are the exercises. This is given at the back of the after uh, at the back of the chapter. Means as you end the chapter, these objective questions are there. Number one, an aircraft. Flying at a constant speed is 
is an example of answer is uniform motion number 2 the r hand of a watch is an example of answer is periodic motion number 3 if we measure the distance in kilometers and the time in hours the unit of speed is written as answer kilometer per hour number 4 if an object is traveling with uniform motion its speed if an object is traveling with uniform motion its speed is equal to the answer is distance traveled divided by time taken Number five. If a distance time graph of an object in motion is not a straight line The object is answer in non uniform motion. Question six twenty hours. is answer is eight pm so children that is all you have so we have 
successfully completed the chapter time and motion today in our next class we will start a chapter in chemistry that is i don't remember the chapter number let me see the book the chapter that i'm teaching is yes chapter number 6 physical and chemical changes right so you please go through the chapter read the first three four pages so that it becomes easy for you to understand thank you